All right, so in order to get these other channels into the Vox and Go span, we need to send them into channel six. And we can do that just like we did with the kick and the bass, except there's one difference. So we're going to select six audio. Instead of track in, now in live, track in is basically your left and your right channel, your first set of inputs, in one and in two. And in Vox and Go, um, with the routing, that basically corresponds to these two slots. So that's already wired up for us. We don't have to worry about that. Um, but we want to select, in order for us to get base two onto its own channel, it needs to be on channel three. We're going to select three and four span. That corresponds to inputs three and four on the span VST. So we will select that. And and we <clears throat> excuse me. We will hard pan this to the left, which will send it into three of the Vox and Go span. And then we will do the same thing with base three, sending its audio to six and three, four span and hard pan to the right, that gets it onto channel four. So with that in place, let me play the track, the music, and enable these channels. Now we don't hear them yet because we haven't configured outputs and we'll do that in a second. Uh, we configured outputs in the routing, but we need to configure it in live as well to, to listen to those outputs. So if I select group three, I now see the signal for this channel, which is three. If I select group four in Vox and Go, I now see the signal, the spectrum for this channel, which is channel four, which has our third basin. So let me change these to the master curve as well. Get rid of the second spectrum, do this, same thing. Okay, let's check channel two, one. So now two can overlay, have an underlay of group three. So that, that graph right there is showing us base one and base two together. Group three can have an underlay of group four. So now we're, we are seeing two and three to get, well, we're seeing these two tracks three and four, which is base two and three. And then four, we don't have a five yet. We need to get that last base and route it in to channel six, track six. Five, six of span, input five and six, pan it all the way to the left, now it's in five. It's coming into five, and we need to activate the channel, and now we have the graph. And set that to master. Edit, second spectrum, get rid of that. So now we have span configured, and our channel routing in live such that we're feeding all of these channel, these five channels into a single instance of Vox and Go Span. And we can use that to help compare two different uh, frequency curves to find out where the conflicts are. So see right there, there's a conflict between the uh, base one and base two, which corresponds to channels two and three, or groups two and three these two tracks here. If we go to three, now I'm comparing three, which is this one, with the guy to the right, which is the fourth one. And there's a con another conflict. And just to make it a little easier to follow, I'm going to um, make these colors consistent from one graph to the next. So here are the Group two underlay is this reddish color, so I'm gonna make that with the reddish color here, and then the underlay is going to be um, blue, the next color available. Then on three, I will make this blue, and on four, I will make it purple. And then here, I will make 
make it mix. We'll make it purple and its underlay will be five and that will be red. And then five will be red. That way the colors stay consistent as, as we cycle through. So when I go from one to two, the color of this curve did not change. It makes it easier just to keep track of where we are and so forth. So the blue line stayed the same, purple line stayed the same, and then the red line should stay red. And it does. So that's it. We're only using the first five channels. There's nothing coming in on six, seven, and eight. And so now that concludes this part of the well, no, we've got one more bit to do, and that's get output from these channels. So what I'm going to do next is set up. I'm just going to move span out of the way for a second. In order to hear, let me stop the music. In order to hear the other channels, we need to uh, set up two additional audio tracks that can monitor inputs, inputs from, from channel, channel six, six in this, in this case. case. And, and we want, we want to, say to say no, no input, input for the audio. Duplicate. And we want to have... Uh, Actually, that's not correct. We want to say audio six. And we want to get the output three and four from span. And then we want to get audio six, output five and six from span. And so now if we play everything, we should hear all of it as it goes through span and into these audio tracks. So now I can And you can see as we solo where the audio ends up going. It goes here then here, and then finally there. So we're routing everything properly, and we hear it. Okay, so that's it. So now we've set up span, and we have the audio configured in live to let us uh, tackle this task. Okay, and that's pretty much all we need to do to set up the Vox and Go span. And in part two of this video, I will be going through the steps to EQ each of the tracks to get the kick and these four different bass sounds and bass parts sitting nicely in the mix.